let's say that you have somebody that's choking. Uh, now the first thing you should know is the universal sign for choking. The universal sign for choking is usually when somebody puts their hand around their throat like this and they just kind of they're very really coughing or choking. Who's coughing? <coughs> now this is choking. There's no air exchange, there's no noise, there's no air coming in and out, so basically that's fully choking. Now the first question you want to ask somebody to find out if they're choking, some people say, are you okay, can you speak, can you breathe? The main question to ask is, are you choking? So I'm going to ask this person, are you choking? Now once I've asked the person, are you choking, it's usually a good idea to ask them if you can help them. It's not a big deal, but if you ask them if you can help them, tell them that you know how to perform, you can help them if they're choking, and you're simply going to tell them, can I help you? Now, the only response that you need is simply, you don't need a yes because they're not going to be saying yes. What you do if they say they, if they, if they actually motion, that they are choking. What you're going to do is you're going to come up behind them. You're going to come up behind them just like this. And what's going to happen is your hand, your fist, your thumb side is going to go below the rib cage. It's going to go below what's called the diaphragm, right below the rib cage. It's right here. My leg is going to be in between their legs. My leg is going to be back here. My leg, my hand's going to be right below the rib cage. I'm going to put the other hand on top of that, and it's going to be an inward and upward thrust. Inward and upward thrust, just like this. Inward and upward. Inward and upward. Inward and upward. There's no number to use. It's just as many times as it takes to get the object out. So inward and upward. Inward and upward. Inward and upward. And then again, there's no number. It's just inward and upward. So once again, someone's choking. What's the first question I ask if someone's choking? Are you choking? They respond. What do I ask them next? Can I help you? What do I do next? Reach around them, fill out the base of the rib cage, right below the rib cage, thumb side in, go right below. You don't want to put your hands like this, you want it to be just like this. And it's inward and upward, inward and upward, inward and upward, inward and upward, inward and upward. And you do this how many times? There's no number. You do. You stop doing this when the object comes flying outside. Now, if the person is actually pregnant. When a person is pregnant, the main difference is you're not going to be in the stomach. What you're going to do is you're going to be in the middle of the chest, right on the chest, underneath their arms so that you can support them. And it's just inward, inward, just like that, inward inward. You're not going upward. This is actually squeezing the chest in to squeeze the lungs together to get the object pushed out. So on the chest, just inward, inward. This technique can also be used if somebody is obese or your arms are too short to reach around. So it's on the chest, inward, 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 just like that. And that's what you would basically do if somebody is choking that's an adult if they're pregnant or if the person's overweight, you can also use one arm over the shoulder and one arm under the arm, just like this. And this way, you can do it if someone is a little overweight. That's one thing you can do. So rather than being under the arm, it would be over the shoulder. And your leg is in between the legs the whole time. So that's what you do if an adult is choking.